Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So if you are a Linux Mint desktop operating system user like I am, you probably know that there is a brand new version out. It's Linux Mint 19.2. It is a point release. And so for me, I normally do not upgrade to the latest version whenever it comes out. But when it comes to like point releases, it's normally not something that's very significant. And so I will go ahead and upgrade that if it looks like it's something that I would want to update to. And so right now I'm currently running Linux Mint 19.1 Tessa and 19.2 Tina is the latest version. Now, if you go up here to your actual update manager, you come here to edit, you see that it says upgrade to Linux Mint 19.2 Tina. So one thing I do want to highly stress is that you make sure that you have time shift active and you have previous backups because with any upgrade of versions, you want to make sure that you are able to get back to previous versions if in case you have problems. So let's go ahead and go back to this update manager and we're going to upgrade to Linux Mint 19.2. So here's the introduction, release notes, just keep going next. And you can look at the new features, which I was just at and keep going next. And then it tells you specifically that you are risking losing your data because obviously there could be issues or there could be bugs so you understand that that's what you're going to do and then when you apply it's going to go ahead and start downloading everything so you put in your password and then it'll download all the software and once all of this is done uh, then you could actually restart your computer and so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm just going to let everything download and install this brand new version. And then we'll see what we have. Okay, so once all the updates have been downloaded and upgraded, you can now reboot your computer and then the changes will take effect and you will now be on Linux Mint 19.2. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've just rebooted my computer and now I am officially on Linux Mint 19.2 Tina. So if I look here at my system information, there it is. And besides all the amazing work that the Linux Mint team has put into the operating system, all the under the hood improvements and the operating system as a whole, my favorite thing out of all these releases is the actual beautiful wallpapers. And so I wanna give a big thanks to all the photographers, the contributors, everybody who provides us these beautiful wallpapers to look at. So that's the first thing. So let's go ahead and get into the new features or updates that we actually have within Linux Mint. So the first thing, and I think most of the updates are actually within the update manager itself. So if I open this up and I'm not familiar with all of these, so I might have to, you know, go back and forth between us. And so if you actually go to your Linux kernels, there's a few new things that they've added. The first thing is it tells you how long the kernel is supported, which is awesome. So you can see here. So if you want to know how long your version, uh, your kernel version is going to be supported, it's all here now, which is great. Another new features that they've added here is to actually remove kernels. And so if you have a lot of older kernels like I have here that you no longer want, you could actually remove them which is another nice touch if you are the type of person who likes to experiment with a lot of different kernels. And you could also install your own kernels as well. So that's really cool. And all of these other things are pretty much under the hood. Uh, let me see what other improvements. So in the software manager, so a loading screen now shows up when the cache is being refreshed. And so I guess if it's loading something and it might take a while in your cache. It'll show loading screen. So let's see if that shows anything there. It doesn't show anything here on mine, but uh, I'm assuming that it'll show some type of loading screen, which is great. You know, it just makes things a little nicer. Let me see software sources. There is new stuff here for your software sources. Okay. Put in my password and I'm not really clearly seeing the difference here. Um, 
you could remove duplicate sources, add missing keys. Oh, okay, authentication keys, cool. So, all right, so this is just, once again, just make things easier uh, to manage and change. And system reports is another feature. So where is the system reports? There it is. And this is really great. I'm so glad that the Linux Mint team added this because before you would actually have to, you know, look into your log information and stuff. And, you know, for most people, you know, who are brand new to Linux as a whole, it's definitely not as techy as it used to be. And this is great. And also for myself, it allows you to easily troubleshoot problems whenever you have them. So that's great. Uh, performance feature, it will use less RAM than before. Always a good thing. And you could use VSync as well or not switch to it. Okay. And the menu is actually faster as well. Um, I'm actually running a different theme. So my computer is already fast. And so I don't really see a difference there. And you could do other things here. If you don't like overlay scroll bars, uh, let me see. I'm not sure how that will look, but if you go here to system settings, where is it? Uh, your themes and where's the scroll bar? Okay. I guess that's, yeah, here it is. Um, so use overlay scroll bars. So if I turn that off, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to play around with that. I'm not sure where that would be, actually show up. Okay. What else do we have? Uh, okay, so here under the menu, if you did have duplicates, uh, it will actually show up once again. Oh, it will actually show the actual differences between them. So that's good. So before this, um, under your menu, if you actually had the same program installed, like you had a version you installed through the software manager, right? But then in the software manager, there's also flat packs as well. And so theoretically, you could have two versions of your software installed and that made it kind of confusing. So you would look at your programs and you would see two of the same things. So this is a nice little information for you. So now it is say whether or not it is a flat pack version, which is really nice because before that was kind of confusing. And another thing you can do is you can actually pin files or folders. So if you actually go to your directory, right, and you're looking here, everything's sorted alphabetically by default. So if I right click on a folder or file, I say pin, it'll now go up on top. So if you have something like this where it's listed like this, it's a lot easier that way uh, for things that are important to you. And then if you actually unpin it, it'll go back to its original sorting. So there. Sharing files, um, I'm not doing that, but that's great. They allow Im more improvements to share folders and files. Screen server now has an on-screen keyboard. Uh, I can't show that, but that's good. And there's X apps. So some default apps, uh, X apps. Uh, I don't really use them too much, but besides the text editor. Okay, there's also a boot repair to installation ISOs. That's really cool. So if you're creating a, an ISO file, you know, uh, if you go down here, where was it? Or maybe it's under accessories. You could actually create an ISO file right there. Uh, USB image writer. Um, so I'm not going to do this now, but I'm assuming uh, it's an additional feature. And the last part is the wallpapers, <laughs> which I absolutely love. Of course. So if I look at my background settings, all these uh, brand new wallpapers right here, which is awesome. And other than that, it's just like little changes to the visual looks of the menus. And that is it. And it is running Ubuntu 18.04 underneath. And this one will be supported till 2023. And so uh, that is Linux Mint 19.2, uh, upgrading it and my initial thoughts and review because there's really not a lot of major changes and that's to be expected with a point release. But overall, another awesome release by Linux Mint. 
uh, I sound like a broken record with every video that I make about Linux Mint updates, but they continually refine it. They continually improve things that will actually improve uh, the user experience. And also, as a whole, this actually helps the whole Linux community. And so I want to always give a big thanks to everybody involved in doing this. And as always, you know, if you can, if you're able to, uh, please donate to the Linux Mint team, you know, um, help them continually support us and keep bringing us all these amazing updates to, in my opinion, the best desktop operating system in the world. I love Linux Mint. And so if you actually had any thoughts on Linux Mint 19.2, please leave those in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.